Hi everyone, MedMadeEasy here. Today we are going to talk about the submental lymph nodes. This is episode one of the lymph node series. I'm going to go over all of the lymph nodes eventually. Um, this is of the head and the neck um, that we're specifically going to focus on, but for today just the submental. Um, now lymph nodes, just a little bit of background, are all over the body and they're used to help the body fight infection by filtering substances within the body. And lymph node swelling may indicate they're viral, bacterial, such as a dental infection, um, sinus infection, uh, a fungal infection, autoimmune disease, malignancy, specifically cancer at the bottom of the mouth, anterior tongue, and also the lower lip. And sometimes even certain medications can cause enlargement of the lymph nodes. Um, enlargement of the lymph nodes, another word that we call that is lymphadenopathy. Um, so for charting purposes, that's a great word to use. Um, today, because we are going to specifically talk about the submental lymph node, I do want to show you where that is. Now, these lymph nodes are right under the chin. They actually drain into either side of the neck, and the submandibular lymph nodes are probably the closest lymph nodes to them um, on both sides. And the submental lymph nodes that we're talking about today actually drain into those areas and then on on into the deep cervical lymph nodes. Now keep in mind if you're a provider and you are charting about lymph nodes, make sure that you chart about the location often that may be the source of infection or the issue wherever whatever's closest to that area. Um, also the size, lymph nodes that are greater than one centimeter are concerning for, lip, for malignancy. Firmness, um, if it doesn't move, this is concerning. And generally, greater than one centimeter would be a concern for some sort of malignancy. Now, the interesting thing that you also need to chart on is pain. Now, pain is usually a sign of acute inflammation and often related to an acute infection. Um, it's not often found with malignancy, so just be aware. A lot of times in malignancies, um, there's no pain at all with a swollen lymph node, so just be aware of that. 